Hello everyone, today we're going to look at Yusaku training arithmetic progressions. Okay, so we're supposed to find the, like, all the progressions that satisfy that each element is a bi-square. Okay. So, um, a progression is a sequence which has a first element, which is A in this case, and then and also has a common difference, which is B. And then, for B, it's supposed to, like, the common difference means that for every, uh, every consecutive element, the difference is always the same, which is B. And then the bi-square is basically P squared plus Q squared, where P and Q is in the range from 0 to M. And we're given M and N. And N is the length of the progressions, which to search... Okay, so for this case, we're given n equals 5 and m equals uh, 7, and we're supposed to find all the progressions that satisfy the conditions. So um, here are the uh, uh, here are the progressions, and for this, we mean that, for example, the starting element is 1, and then the common difference is 4. And over here, we have our starting difference is 37, and our common difference is 4 as well. Okay, and then we're supposed to print these, uh, print these like arithmetic progressions in the order from the smallest difference to the largest difference. Okay. Okay, so let's just write this out. So we're given, whoops, given n equals, um, n is 5. M is 7. So N is in the range from 1 to 25. Actually, it's 3. M is in the range from 1 to 250. Okay, and then we also have our um, bi-square. So let's just... Okay, so we know that P and Q is the range from 1 to... Or actually 0 to 250. So then we know that P squared plus Q squared is in the range from... 0 to uh to um 2 times 250 squared because the maximum value would be when p and q is equal to 250 then that would be 250 squared plus 250 squared which would be 2 times 250 squared okay so then basically we can first calculate all the possible bi squares since um, since 250 times 250 isn't a huge, like, number. So let's just write that down. So first we need to calculate... Okay, so then for this, to do this, we can just loop through from P equals from 0 to 250, and then Q equals from 0 to 250, and then we just get this value, and then we just, like, put it in, like, a map or a set to uh for later or just a data structure okay so after this we just basically have to uh find the progressions uh whoops not pg pro okay so to do this notice that um the since all the elements have to be in the progressions the starting element can be from 0 to uh, 2 times 250 squared. So then you know that the start can can be from 0 to 2 times 250 squared. Or this should actually be 2 times m squared. Okay, so for n, I mean, or for a difference, you can uh, actually loop through, like... Okay, so for difference, it can be like 1, it can be 2, and then all you need to do is to check that. So your difference is also basically the same thing over here. So then it would also be 0 to 2 times m squared. But then if you notice like the kind like complexity, um, 2 times 250 squared times, or this squared, again, would be actually too large for um, our problem. Because we're because like basically to check if this works, we would also have to multiply this by n, which 
n is in the range from 1 to 25. And this would be like too, uh, this would take too long. Okay, so let's just write this. So we actually, for our start, we have start, and then our next element will be start plus d, and then s plus 2d, s plus uh, 3d, and then s plus n minus 1 times d. This is actually dot, dot, dot. And then notice that um, you, you know that this value is in the range from, is in the range of bi squares. Now, basically, to speed this up, we can also just like um, make sure that this value is also in the range of 0 to 250, 0 to uh, 2 times m squared. Okay, so to do this, our difference, we actually don't want to loop it through from this. It actually can be from 0 to, okay, so you know our start, right? And then it would be from 0 to uh, 2 times m squared. So this would be like the bad one. Now, you can actually just divide this by n minus 1. And uh, like the, or like you could actually do this because, um, because it, in order to ensure that this is in the range from 0 to, um, from zero to from zero to uh, like two times m squared, you you can just loop it through from this range. So then this would like um this would basically like lower down the complexity a lot because then this would the overall complexity would only be two times two fifty squared squared, which would be enough or it would be okay. Okay, so now let's just get to code. So this problem is this, and then just create our named SCPP typo. So let's just include our bits. Okay, so we so we have N and M. So let's just read those. of stream okay so let's read n m so now we need to first uh we have to generate our uh by scores so let's actually just use an array to keep track of that so we know our maximum is 250 it's actually 250 so let's just use 251 to be safe so you know your by square, let's just call this bs, or bs, okay, as in 2 times, two f or max times max. So then, to generate this, you, you know your uh, p is from 0 to m, and you know that your q is from 0 to m as well. Okay, so now basically it would be p squared plus q squared. So then you would just mark this as true. So basically p times p plus q times q would be equal to one. Okay, so now we need to basically uh, or find our progressions. Okay, so you know your start can be in the range from zero to two times uh, m times m. Let's actually call this uh, M2. Okay, this would be M2, and then just set that. Okay, so your N can be in the range from, uh, or basically this should be our difference. It should be in the range from 1 to basically M2 divided by N minus 1. Okay, so now we need to check if for this combination, if this works. So let's just make a check function. So we're given our, our start and then we're given our difference. Okay, so since there's n values, we can just loop it through from i equals 0 to i equals n. So then our value here would be s plus i times d. So then you would just, so if 
it's not the by square, then you return false. And it, if all these checks like were true, then you just return true. Okay. So now basically if check of S D, you know that this is good. Okay, so let's actually have a vector to for our answers. So it should be since we're um it, it's basically represented in a pair for our um start and our difference. So let's just call this answer. And I'm just going to insert answer uh D S. Okay, and now since we have to sort it, let's just sort it. So sort answer that begin answer dot end. Okay, so now we need to print them. So for actually this auto x in answer, you just print x dot sec second x dot first. Okay, and then there's one more condition. So if there's if you didn't find anything, you would just have to print none. So if if it's empty, then just f out none. Okay, so let's create the files. One minute. Airy proc. Okay, so we're given five seven. Let's run this. I'm just going to put my ID and the problem name. Uh, and this, my language is C++. Okay, it looks like it's done running. Let's just check it. Okay, so it looks like, I think this is the like correct answer. Let's just double check. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm just going to submit it. Okay, it's submitting. Okay, so it's like I'm using too much memory, or I or too much time. So let's go back to our problem. Okay, so let's see how we can like speed this up. Okay, so it looks like basically okay. So for our start value, it can be from. Uh, 0 to 2 times m times m. And then our end value should actually be from uh, m, like since basically th we're basically kind of like restarting, so there should be 2 times, I mean, m2 minus s. Because, uh, because the more you start, the like the, the, or the, um, the quicker you have to like stop since you might reach the end first. Yeah, so let's just go back to our problem. Let's just resubmit this. Okay. It's running. Okay, so looks like that is right. Have you have any, if you have any, whoops, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Bye.